And then I got to a point in April of 2022 where I was just like, fuck, I'm at a 300 PSA. Like, I'm in trouble. And I was just waiting for something that could potentially save my life. So if you go to the next slide. See that little thought bubble? Hmm. Is it a game changer? I think it could be. What is a uh, bat? It's bipolar androgen therapy, and it's really designed to, to shock, to repeatedly shock the prostate cancer cells. So you're alternating between a polar extreme of high and low testosterone levels. So as you can see on the graph on the right-hand side, this is from the John Hopkins study. There was like four different studies that they did on this. And they would inject a guy with 400 milligrams of testosterone, and it would go up pretty rapidly, I think over the first two weeks or so, and then it would, you know, start to drop. And so you're alternate, you know, again, you're alternating between, you know, they call it super physiological T levels and then castrate levels. Uh, I was just like really going in a bad spot. I got rid of all that. I have no more nausea. I have no more fatigue. I don't, ha I have an appetite now. I got more muscle mass. I got up to 170 again. I'm not even exercising. I just gained, you know, muscle mass just from testosterone uh, sex is better. You know, it's like all upside. Okay. So if you go to the next slide, um, I also, you know, shared ownership with the oncologist, right? So, you know, uh, Dr. Raina McKay hadn't done this before with anybody. She wasn't going to just, you know, she wasn't going to do this unless I came in and said, I wanted to do it. And so it was going to have to be a shared ownership between the patient and the oncologist. I think because this is not being scaled right now. It's, you know, John Hopkins did it. You know, Oliver Sartor has done a little bit of it. You know, maybe a couple of doctors across the country have done a little bit of this, but it's not being widely used. And so I think it's going to require that patient to be brave enough, right? You know, you're throwing testosterone on this thing. It could be like throwing gasoline on a fire. You got to be brave enough to try it. Um, and you have to have a doctor that's going to be willing to support it. Okay. So some other study results. So um, on the last page of this presentation, I took a picture of the actual patient guide. So if you want to like Google it and find it and download it and read it, you can. I could also, Brad, I could just send you the, the PDF and you could stick it in the notes too for people that want to read about it.